Good day and welcome to another PHP Runner tutorial. I have received many questions regarding custom CSS and the implementation thereof. In today's tutorial, we will have an introduction on CSS and how and where to implement it in PHP Runner. I am using version 10.3 of PHP Runner in this tutorial that can be downloaded from xlinesoft.com. I am going to use our inventory application to demonstrate some basic CSS functionality. All tutorials about the inventory application, including this one, can be found in the channel playlist called Inventory Application. Furthermore, I will use Chrome Developer Tools to inspect the elements. Firefox has something called Firebug. But I use Chrome Development Tools as that is what I prefer. Feel free to use whichever you are comfortable with using. I opened the application using PHP Runner version 10.3. This particular project was last built with version 10.2, so it's always good practice before continue any further to save the project as something else. Click on Project, then select Save Project As, and give it a new name indicating the version. Doing it this way allow you to have a version 10.2 of the project that can later be referred to or archived for safekeeping. There are mainly three places where you can apply CSS within PHP Runner. The first is in the events of the project. A demonstration of how this is achieved can be seen in my tutorial PHP Runner version 10 cell background, where I dynamically change the CSS style of a cell background depending on a value. I will leave a link in the description to that tutorial. Secondly, a custom CSS option is available for each element from the page designer. Use this to apply CSS to the selected element. And thirdly, a custom CSS option is available on the editor screen. CSS added here is intended on a more global approach of CSS within the application. This tutorial will focus more on the element styles from the page designer and will briefly touch on the custom CSS within the editor screen. I opened up the online application and click on Add New to get to the Add screen. The element I would like to amend is the part description label and perhaps the text input field. Right click on the title and select Inspect. The Chrome developer tools open up and supply us with all sorts of information. You will notice that the element properties are highlighted and the element itself is marked when I hover my mouse over the HTML. This feature is very handy if you need to find the current CSS code for each element. At this point, it is very important to look out for bootstrap styles. Never modify any bootstrap styles, always built on top of them. None of the styles here has any bootstrap in the description, so we are good to go. On the right top of the style window is a style marked as element.style and it's currently empty. Here you can now apply some CSS. In PHP Runner, the page designer already have a few properties that can be set. Things like label, background, text color, font size, etc. can easily be set so I recommend to use the options available instead of adding those CSS properties as custom CSS. One option on the label that is not available is text shadow. I'm going to add it into the element.style. I start typing the word text and the list of options becomes available. I select text shadow and supply the offset and the shadow color. You 
you now have a preview of what the style will look like. At this point, nothing changed in our project. And if I refresh the page now, everything will be gone and I will have to start over. So just be aware of that. Once I am satisfied with the style, I can implement it in PHP Runner. An inline style has been created within the HTML section. And I can copy it if I double click on the style. I now select the part description and click on separate. This will separate the field settings and I now select the part description label. Click on custom CSS. I now remove everything between the curly brackets and paste the CSS I just copied from DevTools. Click save. I'm also going to change the label text. If you now build the project, you will see your custom CSS in action. You might ask how did I know about the text shadow property and all the values that goes with it. Do you have to be some CSS expert to do this? The answer to that question is no. I use a website that helps me with CSS. I will leave a link in the description. Under CSS, I click on Generators. Here you see Text Shadow. I click on that. Now you apply some changes according to your needs and copy the code. Let us have a quick look at a gradient. It's start up with three colors. And if you untick the middle section, you now only have two colors. I'm making some changes. Once satisfied, I copy the CSS code. Let's inspect the text input field. Again, the HTML section is highlighted and I now look for the class description. As you can see, the class is called form control. Text area .form control is what we need to use to apply this CSS. Take note of the stylesheet name. I paste the code so I can be sure it is what I want. I now copy everything and paste it into the custom CSS on the editor page in PHP Runner. Build the project and the style is applied. If you now inspect the element, you will see the original text area that form control and an extra style saved in custom CSS. That is actually now overriding the original. You also might have noticed that some of the values are strike through. This indicates that another style is overriding this one. More about all of this in the next tutorial where I will be explaining more about how to figure out the correct CSS selector to be added to custom CSS. Hopefully this was helping someone. If you find this tutorial helpful, a like and subscribe will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Till next time.